This is Josh Shapiro, owner of Baseball Lifestyle 101, sitting here with a bucket hat talk with my man Richie Palacios. Alright guys, I'm sitting here with my man Richie Palacios. Just got drafted the other day by the Indians in the third round, man. Just want to sit down, want to talk to you about you know the process. Growing up, where you know your love for the game is, future, chain length, everything, bro. We're gonna we're gonna cover all bases here. You got some bucket hat talk. So uh, let's start off. So like, I would say when you started, like, where did your first love for the game come from? Like, do you remember that day? What it was? Like, what got you like love the game of baseball? Uh, I definitely say my parents. Uh, my dad. We pretty much used to play baseball like all the time at uh, the nearby park. So ever since then, I mean that. That brought my first love for the game. Mm -hmm. Playing with friends, like kids in the neighborhood, that's like when we loved it the most. Right. What about the, I mean, I know you have a big bro, so what about the bro? Like, how, what about his influence on you and playing ball and everything like that? Uh, yeah, he's been a great influence to me. I mean, he pretty much like tells me what to look forward to. Um, and he makes my dream a little bit more of a reality, knowing that he's already going through it. So that made me even work a little bit harder right. to try and get to his level. Yeah, for those who don't know, I mean, he was drafted, and you said the fourth round yes. by the Blue Jays. He's currently in the high A ball, you said, right? Yes. So, I mean, it's, it's in the family, bro. It's in the blood out here. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, so you said your brother growing up. So, you played uh, so playing high school ball. I guess the recruiting process, um, you know, getting to Towson and how you got there. For kids that want to know, you know, how to play college baseball, I think they want to know the process of someone that went from – where you started all the way now to getting drafted, but from high school baseball to college, like what was the whole process? You know, where were you scouted, all that, everything? Um, so out of high school, I was highly recruited for a bit, and then a lot of top programs told me I was a bit too small, um, which I didn't agree with, but it just made me work a little bit harder. Um, I eventually got the chance to get a scholarship um, to South University, um, and then my dad was always like, pick a school that you'll like the school, even if baseball is not in the process. Right. That's all, yeah. So I went around, campus was beautiful, the people were awesome, so I picked there. I mean, in college the game gets a lot faster than high school, um, a lot more serious, a lot of people working harder, so it just pushed me to limits I didn't even think I could reach. I think that's a big thing, I mean, this is just a side thing, that like going to a school where if you weren't playing baseball you'd still like. <clears throat> we were talking about the other day talking about recruiting and just like how kids go to school just because of baseball and then they don't like the school and then they're stuck in a situation where now if they're not playing you know they're kind of in a bad situation yeah and I think we talked about when I first met you we were saying that <clears throat> you went to a school where you knew you were able to play out of the gates right yeah. you had the playing time I think that's so important too for kids to understand it doesn't really necessarily matter you didn't go to Clemson or Duke yeah. or one of those top name schools that like you know Towson's no joke but I'm saying like those schools yeah. everyone thinks you have to go to get drafted in the yeah. top five rounds yeah. you went to Towson you raked you bat over 300 you know what every year probably yeah. and like you 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 know you, you did what you had to do and you did your job and that's why you're in the position where you're at right now so I think now going into you know the high school part what about college like starting as a freshman the planning experience from freshman year to college uh, to where you're at now you know like the whole college experience uh I just attest that to my coaches and then definitely um, just like the older guys, when I got there my freshman year, there was a lot of like good leaders mm -hmm. that had a lot of rules intact and just showed the kids how um, the work ethic has to be for you to be successful. And then just taking every little thing from those older guys, some of them went professional, some of them didn't, but right. just getting that, uh, just that process was like a good help for me. I mean, helped me. And then now in my junior year, I can relay that to the freshmen just like the older guys did for me, so that's the best part of it all. Yeah, for sure. Those, those old, I mean, I'm, when I play college ball, those older kids you always look up to and how yeah. they how they handle themselves on the field. Now, what about draft day, man? Like, the behind the scenes, the things that people don't know, like, you know, where were you doing? What were your thoughts? Like, we talked about a little before about, you know, your father was all, like, hyped up, like, yeah, yeah. waiting for you to go, and you were a little yeah. more relaxed, but, you know, people, not everyone gets to say they got drafted, so I guess, like, going through that day, that behind the scenes of how you felt that before you got drafted, the day that you maybe thought you were going to get drafted and didn't, and then when you got drafted and where you're, literally you're sitting at now, what was it, less than 48 hours ago right now? Yeah. So, I mean, you know, it's it's fresh right now. So talk about that whole experience. Um, so I was just paying attention to just everything that was going around around me. Um, on some draft boards, I was projected to go that first day. So I was sitting watching it, um, mm. just waiting for a call. It didn't happen that first day. I wasn't disappointed at all. I was just looking forward to the next day. And then on Tuesday, on um, the second day of the draft, just watching it with my family. Nice and relaxed. My parents were a little anxious, but yeah. I was nice and relaxed, just waiting on that call. And then eventually I got that call around 2 o'clock for the Cleveland Indians. And then my day was so exciting after yeah. that. I mean, my parents were awesome. 
great. It's just great to give them thanks for all they've done for me yeah, to make sure. this possible. Now you're at where you're at, man. Yep. So now we can get to the fun stuff. Yeah. The chain lengths, <laughs> what you like to do off the field, like all the good stuff. So like get to know you a little bit. So like, I don't know, what's your, like, what's your favorite thing to do off the baseball field? I mean, I know like working out is a big thing, but yeah. I mean, even besides working out, everyone that's going to be in your position has got to work out and get huge. But like, what's that favorite thing to do like off the field? Like any hobbies that you like to do? Um, I don't know, just probably just spending time with my friends. Yeah. Going bowling with friends. Yeah, fishing. big bowling guy? Let's go. <laughs> Damn, bro, you might throw 300s out here? No, 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 no okay. <laughs> you like go to fish fun. too? Yeah, so this would be perfect for fun. fishing on the boat, sitting yeah, back. Right. Yeah, yeah we, I went fishing a lot this summer, actually. But yeah, fishing is fishing good. Fishing nice and peaceful. Are you good at, are you good at fishing? Like, I mean, I'm all right. You're all right? I, yeah, I, I don't go fish, there. so you have to teach me. I don't go fishing. <laughs> <laughs> so fishing and bowling, that's interesting. What about like, any, like, I'm curious, what about any hidden, like, talents? Hidden talents. I got good questions out here. I want to know. Hidden talents. Yeah, like, what's one. something that you know, like, you could do that no one knows? Cause like there's guys that go to the minor leagues like my boy like Swilson who started rapping be like well where did this dude come out rapping like you probably have some hidden talents that you're gonna show up there. I probably have them somewhere. You don't know. I though. think you need to find them for me. I gotta find them for you. <laughs> I gotta find the hidden talents for you, bro. <laughs> so what about what about who has the bigger chain, me or you? I'm not rocking my chain, but you know what chain I got. So like, yeah, no, you gotta stun on me. I'm I gotta stun on you, but now you, you got the sign bonus, so like you might be showing up with like a Domingo Ayala chain that's like down here like 50 cent stuff, so. I'll get, uh, I'll get you one first, though. Oh, he's got me one first. I appreciate that, bro. <laughs> this is a quick little interview. I just want to sit down with my man Richie, get into some fun stuff maybe about baseball and where he's going and um, about his you know, past, future, and everything, man. Wish you best of luck, bro. Thanks for having me, my bro. guy. Keep rocking that chain out here, big baller. <laughs> Don't hurt me, guys. <laughs>